given. Let us discuss this result. So in this result, we have a function f, which is defined on closed interval a, b, and it is a bounded function also, as well as we have one point c between a and b. Okay. So what we have to prove, we have to prove that function is Riemann integrable on closed interval a, b, if and only if it is Riemann integrable on a, c and Riemann integrable on c, b. After that, we have to prove this result also. Okay. So first of all, we will try to prove the first part, if and only if part. So you know that when you have if and only if part, we assume one part, we prove the second part. And after that, we prove the converse part. Let us start to do. See, uh, first of all, we will assume, let me mention, assume that, assume that f belongs to R closed interval a, b. That means function is Riemann integrable on closed interval a, b. This part we have assumed and we are going to prove the second part. So here we have a two ways to prove the function is Riemann integrable. Either we can show that upper integral is equal to lower integral or we have that epsilon definition also. Okay. So for given epsilon greater than zero, there exists a partition P such that upper sum minus lower sum less than epsilon. So that epsilon definition we are going to use to prove this part. Let us take one epsilon. Let epsilon greater than zero be given. So this is a given information we have. Okay. So therefore we can use it. So for this epsilon, there exists, therefore there exists a partition. I'm considering a partition P is equal to A is equal to X naught, X one and so on. X in is equal to C, X n plus one and so on. X n plus M is equal to B of closed interval A B. So I have considered this partition P such that such that let me complete it such that upper sum upf minus lower sum lpf is less than epsilon okay it's less than epsilon see this partition we have considered of closed interval a b but one precaution i have taken that is that point c which lies between a b that should be the point of that partition okay it is easily possible see uh, in the riemann criterion okay riemann criterion we get this one so if you don't get such partition you can take its refinement and you can bring c as a that point of partition okay so it's quite possible so let me call it as one simply i use riemann criterion now see what will i do i'm going to take another partition okay i'm going to take another partition of closed interval ac only okay so let let p1 is equal to a is equal to x0 x1 and so on xn is equal to c b a partition be a partition of closed interval ac will you tell me what i have done okay i have done a very simple thing already we had a partition of closed interval ab we want simply partition of closed interval AC. So I took the same points, getting, but I have not complete, I have not taken a complete partition, all points. So simply I, I have gone up to point C. Okay. That means I have taken some part of partition P and I, I uh, created a new partition. I'm calling it as P1 of closed interval AC. Okay. So let us talk about that closed interval AC. Then, then upper sum okay upper sum with partition p1 okay f minus lower sum with partition p1 f getting so now i am talking about this partition p1 only which is partition of closed interval ac so what will i do so this is equal to your yeah, familiar with the definition of upper sum which is summation capital mi delta xi right i running from 1 to n since it has only n points minus summation i running from 1 to n small mi delta xi will you tell me the next step obviously summation we can take common delta xi we can take common so therefore we will have summation i running from 1 to n okay so here in bracket you will have capital mi small mi delta x this thing we have see this thing we have and if you add some positive or non-negative part definitely value will get increased so i'm going to add something here let us see so this is less than or equal to summation. Let me write down this part first. Capital Mi minus small mi delta xi. Plus I'm going to add i running from n plus 1 to n plus m. Capital Mi minus small mi delta xi. See what I have done. 
actually p1 was restricted only for closed interval ac okay that is a partition of closed interval ac so i have considered the remaining points also okay i have considered the remaining points also and i am going to add that upper sum minus lower sum part to it definitely each term of that summation is non negative so if you add to the original summation value will get increased so that's why we'll have this inequality okay so see here i running from 1 to n here i running from n plus 1 to n plus m right so directly we can say therefore i runs from 1 to n plus m let me write that thing just make a screenshot of it after that we will go further so now i runs from 1 to n plus m okay so the part that part is same what will i do i will take separate separate summation summation i running from 1 to n plus m capital m i delta x i minus summation i running from 1 to n plus m small m i delta x i are you familiar with this okay so i runs from 1 to n plus m 1 to n plus m that means it is covering the entire closed interval a b so this is nothing but upper sum okay so th this is nothing but upper sum of function f with partition p which is a partition of closed interval a b because i is running from 1 to n plus m similarly this is a lower sum so minus lpf okay but see in inequality number one we have already stated this is less than epsilon right so therefore this is less than epsilon let me mention from one okay so actually uh, therefore therefore we started with upper sum uh, with partition p1 minus lower sum with partition p1 of closed interval ac and we prove that it is less than epsilon Okay, so upper sum minus lower sum is less than epsilon. So therefore, by Riemann criterion, we can say the function is Riemann integrable on closed interval AC. So let me mention implies f is Riemann integrable on closed interval AC. So in this way, we proved function is Riemann integrable on closed interval AC. So now the next task is to prove that the function is Riemann integrable on closed interval C be the same thing we can do. We can repeat the same steps. We can repeat the same logic. Okay. So what I want to say, see in second part, we will start with partition P2. Okay. We'll start with the partition P2, which is a partition of closed interval C B by taking the same points. Okay. By taking the same points from partition P. Okay. And we can do in the same way. And finally, we will have this is less than epsilon. Again, we will use uh, inequality number one. Getting so that's why simply I will mention here. Similarly, 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 we can prove that we can prove that f is Riemann integrable on closed interval C B. It's very easy part and similar to this one. That's why uh, so you can solve it as an exercise. Okay. So now conversely, we are assuming that function is Riemann integrable on AC and Riemann integrable on CB. Now we have to prove that function is Riemann integrable on AB. See here also, I'm going to use that epsilon definition. So let us take one epsilon first, which I already taken. Let us use the given information. Okay, what we have function is Riemann integrable on closed interval AC. So that's why we can write. So therefore, there exists a partition. Let me write there exists a partition p1 of closed interval ac such that such that upper sum okay let me write you p1 f minus l p1 f less than epsilon by riemann criterion we could write it but see i'm going to do one adjustment instead of epsilon i will take epsilon by 2 i'm calling it as inequality number 2 see first information i use similarly i can use the second information and same type of statements you can write here let us do and let me write and there exists a partition there exists a partition p2 of closed interval cb such that let me write such that upper sum okay for partition p2 minus lower sum is less than again i am going to write epsilon by 2 okay epsilon by 2 so what we have we have a partition p1 of closed interval ac we have a partition p2 for closed interval cb so let us take union of both partitions so we'll have a partition of closed interval ab okay so let me do that so let let p is equal to p1 union p2 then p is 
partition okay let me write p is partition of closed interval a b see actually a c and c b these are two different intervals getting and only boundary point is same so that's why if you take a partition of p1 if you take a partition of p2 and if you take union we'll have the partition of closed interval a b so here therefore we can definitely write upper sum okay for partition p is same as upper sum for partition with partition p1 and partition p2 the same thing we can write for lower sum and okay let me write lower sum with partition p1 here and p2 here so let us subtract then okay then if you subtract what will you have upper sum minus lower sum that means i'm subtracting the second row from the first row so if you subtract left hand side you will have this one let us subtract right hand side also so u p1 f minus l p1 f right plus this u p2 f minus l p2 f okay after subtracting we have got this one but see u p1 f minus l p1 f we have seen it somewhere its value is less than epsilon by 2 right and u p2 f minus l p2 f uh, yes this is also less than epsilon by 2 so let me mention from 2 and 3 from 2 and 3 so epsilon by 2 plus epsilon by 2 epsilon so therefore okay let me remove this diagram it is not required now okay see so therefore u p f minus l p f is less than epsilon yes we proved what we want getting so actually p is a partition of closed interval a b and we proved that upper sum minus lower sum is less than epsilon so by riemann integrability that criteria of riemann integrability we can say function is riemann integrable on closed interval a b so therefore therefore function is riemann integrable on closed interval a b so in this way in both ways we proved the result getting so function is riemann integrable on ab then it is riemann integrable on ac and cb and in converse part also we have proved now so yes the first part we have proved here so now there is just last sub question that thing we are going to prove make a screenshot of it then we will go further so let us prove the its next part okay so what we have we have to prove here integration of f from a to b is equal to integration of f from a to c plus c to b okay see what i do here we take a partition p1 of closed interval ac we take a partition p2 of closed interval cb and if you take the union of p1 and p2 we will have the partition p of closed interval ab therefore we can definitely write lower sum okay with partition p1 f plus lower sum with partition p2f is equal to lower sum of p1 union p2f okay since these are two different intervals so that's why it is possible so p1 union p2 that is nothing but p so lower sum of uh, f with partition p but we know that lower sum is always less than or equal to lower integral since lower definition of lower integral is supremum of lower sum th th therefore it is less than or equal to integration p p is a partition of closed interval so i should write a to b f lower integral getting lower sum is always less than or equal to lower integral so what we get finally let me write it here so therefore therefore l p1 f plus l p2 f less than or equal to integration a to b lower integral okay now what will i do i will take supremum of left hand side over partition p1 let me take taking let me mention here taking supremum supremum of left hand side over partition p1 p1 by keeping p by keeping p2 fix okay by keeping p2 fix so that means we are taking the supremum of left hand side only so what will get supremum of partition p1 only so a supremum of l p1 f plus l p2 f less than or equal to integration f a to b lower integral right so you know that supremum of lower integral lower sum is nothing but lower integral so here we will have the lower integral but we are talking about p1 which is a partition of closed interval ac only so here we will have ac lower integral 
f okay so simply i will mention in this way plus l p to f less than or equal to integration a to b lower integral f so now what we what will i do i will take supremum okay over partition p2 right now okay but there is no more space to write make a screenshot of it then we will go further so i took supremum here okay supremum of left hand side over partition p2 so i got this one so you know that supremum of lower sum is nothing but lower integral so therefore therefore integration a to b f plus integration f p2 is a partition of closed interval cb so i should write here sorry yeah, you should we should write a to c here a to c right and here c to b correct c to b less than or equal to integration f a to b c uh, p2 is basically a partition of closed interval cb so that's why i should write c to b it is not required and you also already taken screenshot of it so let me remove this one see we have got this inequality for lower integral but we know that function is riemann integrable on ab and ac and cb so therefore lower integral is equal to actual integral we can write let me write here but but f is riemann integrable on ab f is riemann integrable on ac and f is riemann integrable on cb we have already proved so therefore lower integral is equal to actual integral so therefore what can we write integration a to c f plus integration c to b f is less than or equal to integration a to b f i will call it as star one part we have proved okay so let us go further now clearly clearly another thing we can write that means we talk about lower sum so let us talk about upper sum now so upper sum okay with partition p1 upper sum of f with partition p1 plus upper sum of f with partition p2 is equal to upper sum of p1 union p2 f right since p1 and p2 are partitions of two different distinct intervals so that's why what can we do so this is equal to upper sum of partition p f since partition p is nothing but p1 union p2 you know that see you know that that upper sum is always greater than or equal to upper integral so that's why we can say this is greater than or equal to upper integral of f p is a partition of closed interval ab so i should write a to b upper integral now so now what will i do okay, let me write it properly therefore u p1 f plus u p2 f greater than or equal to integration f a to b okay so i will uh, do the same thing that now i will take infimum of left hand side okay i will take infimum of left hand side over partition p1 by keeping p2 fix but we know that okay so infimum of upper sum is nothing but upper integral so therefore integration of a from a to c i should write since p1 is a partition of closed interval ac so this is upper integral plus u p2 f greater than or equal to integration a to b upper integral f see now what will i do i will take infimum of left hand side over partition p2 okay but see infimum of upper sum is nothing but upper integral so therefore what can we write here therefore integration a to c f plus integration f c to b we should write since p2 is a partition of closed interval cb greater than or equal to integration f from a to b upper integral but see as you know function is uh, riemann integrable on ab ac and cb so that's why upper integral is equal to actual integral let me mention that thing but let me mention clearly f is riemann integrable on ab right f is riemann integrable on ac okay and f is riemann integrable on cb so therefore therefore upper integral is equal to actual integral so i should write in this way c to b f greater than or equal to integration a to b f so this is double star so star and double star have same left hand side same right hand side just inequalities are different here we have greater than or equal to there we have less than or equal to so if you combine so definitely we can say both of them are equal okay let me mention here so from star and okay i should mention star and double star see what can we write integration a to c f plus integration c to b f is equal to integration a to b f so in this way we prove the second part also okay make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye